Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. If you haven't been here already, welcome. If you have, you probably noticed that my hair has changed. This is my uh, Bob Ross happy mistake for Halloween. I don't know why it turned pink, but it did. I actually bleached it, so it is what it is. Moving on though to actual cookbooks. Uh, I wanted to talk about this one because it looked so interesting and I sometimes like to leave it to other things to make decisions for me and this actually is kind of a perfect, it's perfect. So this is Divine Your Dinner. This is by Courtney McBroom and Melinda Lee Holm. I do have tarot cards but I like this for more than just the tarot cards too to be honest. So the whole point of this is to use this cookbook as you know, you can use it as a magical tarot thing, but you can also use this as a way to just kind of determine what you're going to eat based on fate. I love that. So let's look at it. Plus the art is, it's just beautiful. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, ooh, wow, this is a fantastic tablescape. This would, oh man, this is gorgeous. So I, yeah, I'm really excited. It's very elegant, very dark and mysterious, and, and I really I'm <clears throat> I am here for it. Alright, so we have Tara 101, Divine Inspiration, etc. etc. You have your magical ingredient pantry. So that's very cool. Um, we go into the minor arcana and then we go to the major arcana, and then if you're somebody that digs spells, they have a whole spell section. I enjoy the illustrations. Usually I don't with the cookbook, but this is really beautiful and I just I just yeah, it's just gorgeous. I'm so excited to see what they have. I like their introduction. It's very, you know, we get to learn more about the authors. So let's see. It luckily it tells us how to use this book. Here's our divine inspiration. So we have a little chart here that has like your suit and your element. So if you're somebody that is familiar with all of this stuff, this will be really helpful. Um, and then we have plate. So associated with swords, you're probably gonna have a poultry dish. If you draw something that's coins or earth-based, you're gonna probably do a veggies or grain dish. So that's kind of how you use this cookbook. Very, very, very cool. Also, all of the magical, I guess, things about each ingredient. So we have artichokes, they're for personal development, avocados, a millennial's best friend, I would know, they're my favorite thing ever. Uh, it includes uh, passion, attraction, beauty, balancing the heart. So that's wonderful. Um, so yeah, this is really helpful if you're a new witch. This is really cool. If you like cooking too, this is definitely up your alley. And again, gorgeous illustrations. It's amazing. Okay, so let's look at some of the actual recipes. So they talk about the minor arcana. They've actually divided this up by the, you know, the suit, which is cool. So in swords, we have the three of swords, which is complicating conversation of southern fried hot honey wings. Yum. Those things just didn't seem like they would be relatable, but I'm really excited. This is cool. So then we have, we'll move on to something a little, uh, something else. Let's see if I can find a non-sword. We have wands, that slow braised beef short ribs and sauerkraut with spicy mustard. Super good. Let's go into cups. I wonder, yeah, let's go into cups. I see a taco recipe. Um, we have Sorry, okay, we have, so cups is water, so that's like seafood and whatnot. <clears throat> Two of cups, pan-fried cod with spicy remoulade, yum. Wow, this is really cool. And the, I like, so the illustrations still illustrate food. So there's a combination of illustrating kind of the card, what magical signification it is, and then also the food itself. And I, I like it, I think it's just gorgeous. Let's see, we've got coins. So that's the very last suit. Three of coins, loaded baked potato pot stickers. That's genius, just in general, that's amazing. They even have really cute illustrations on how to make them. I love that, that's wonderful. 
Apparently it's about forming alliances. I think that's true because who doesn't love a loaded baked potato? So, all right. So that's coins. We're going to move on to the actual major arcana just because there's a lot of cool, interesting things in there. So we have, this was a familiar picture, I'm sure. This is vanilla panna cotta, so this is representing the lovers. Then we have here temperance. So that is an actual party board because temperance, temperance is about avoiding extremes, finding peace and moderation. That's cute. I love how thoughtful this book is. Like if you are somebody that is really witchy and spiritual, this actually, this very much makes sense. It's not just thrown together just to have a cookbook. It, it does make sense. One more uh, major arcana. We have the fool, which is enjoying the moment and trust in the universe. It's bergamot baked rice with citrus and honey. That sounds amazing. So there's a lot of very unique recipes in here that I actually don't think I've seen before. Lots of fusion stuff. And I like that they've incorporated more than just Western palettes. Like there are Eastern palettes as well. Different kinds of things. Just so cool. I really, really love it. Um, one more picture. I'm sorry. It's just beautiful. So this is Judgment. This is Banana Flaxseed Muffins. Yum. All right. So this is awesome. Here's the whole, the spell section really isn't that big. If that's not really, you know, something that you really want to do, that's totally fine. But just a lot of really cool information stuff. If you are somebody that is spiritual in this way, this is really just, it's a beautiful cookbook. This is fantastic. It's very thoughtful, well organized and very well studied it's just it's great this is a fantastic cookbook i think it got a little uh, overwritten a little bit since you know halloween and the sea you know all of the holidays are coming up this is fantastic so if you are somebody that is into this stuff definitely check out divine your dinner this is by courtney mcbroom and melinda lee holm i'm gonna look them up and kind of check out their work because this is just really cool Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, make sure to subscribe and to leave a comment on your way out. We want to know how we're doing. If you like other cookbooks and you want to learn more about cookbooks and other cooking things, come join us on Instagram, F Facebook, Pinterest. We also have a website and we have a podcast. So come join us there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a fantastic day.